Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priya Sipaha and today we are going to discuss Harvard Referencing Style. Basically, this is also known as index style or a parenthetical style. This is usually used in uh, research articles, research papers, mostly now these days in many of the reputed journals. So let's start. So the very first thing is to understand what is referencing. Basically, if you are using anyone's idea or a thought or a paper or research work, his work, his or her work in your research paper or in your dissertation or in your thesis, then it is necessary to acknowledge that particular idea or that particular quote or whatever research work you have copied from another person. Otherwise, it will be count as a plagiarism. That's why this is necessary to write everything. Now, there are many styles. There are footnotes also. There are AP, APA style also, MLA style also, Harvard style also, Chicago style also. There are n number of referencing style which is available. And it depends on journal to journal uh, that which type of reference style is needed for that particular journal or that particular article uh, where you are uh, willing to publish your research paper or in which university you are submitting your dissertation or your thesis. That's why it is necessary to read carefully the reference style, citation style, and the guidelines which has been given of that particular journal or university. That is your duty. Otherwise, it will be amount as a plagiarism. So we are now discuss, uh, we will be discussing here Harvard style. Now basic blue book citation style and how to write dissertation and synopsis. This, these are the videos which I have already made. You can look at the, uh, my previous videos. I'll share the link also and you can see that uh, videos also. In this video, I'm simply going to discuss about the Harvard style. Now in Harvard style, I think that this is the most convenient and uh, convenient style. And there are four factors which you have to uh, take into consideration. The first one is to understand that Harvard style is usually index or a parenthetical system. Now index or parenthetical system means in a paper only or in a dissertation, whatever is your research work in that page only. Usually in APA style, we used to write a footnotes or endnotes, but in Harvard style, it is in text citation. That's mean, that means wherever you are placing footnotes, do not place footnote. If you are placing any paraphrasing or quotes or any idea from, or from any other work, then simply after that sentence, you have to write in the bracket only the source that means the writer and the year only this we are going to discuss later in detail so this is first thing which is necessary to understand that within a paper only within that page only after the sentence in that page only you have to write in text style that is the first thing which is necessary to be understood now the second thing is paraphrasing. Now paraphrasing is something which is uh, applicable in every dissertation or article or research paper or uh, thesis. And it is used everywhere, no matter whatever style you are using to write a research paper. We will talk about Harvard style. Now paraphrasing is something when the idea of another person you are writing in your own words. But always remember, it is their idea which you have taken and you are writing just by making some of the changes but the idea is still of another person you are paraphrasing that particular idea that's why you have to code you have to write the proper citation proper acknowledgement of that particular writer or any sources from where from where you have taken that particular idea that is called paraphrasing detail again I will explain later then there is quotes or quoting now quoting is something when you will be writing exactly what whatever idea or whatever research work or whatever news or anything exactly the same you are writing in your research work you are not even changing the idea you are not changing even the words that is called quoting how you have to, you will be writing that also I will explain then 
the last thing is in research paper or in article you have to give references at the end of the research paper not end note not in footnoting it is a reference list that means whatever work whatever sources you have taken you have to write everything at the end of your research work similarly uh, in the case of dissertation or uh, in the case of uh, thesis, you have to write bibliography. Now, bibliography is also all the sources which you have taken, all the references which you have taken, you have to acknowledge at the end of your research work. So these four things are very, very necessary to be understood and you have to take care that you should acknowledge others' work properly. Otherwise, it will be amount as plagiarism. Now the first thing is in textile or a parenthetical system, which as I said that it is immediately after the idea or after the research work of any other person. Now, where this particular system is to be used, how to cite this site, uh, how to cite this, their work. Basically, when you are using a direct quote or a paragraph of another sources in the body of the work, Again, I'm repeating in the body of the work only. That means in the page only. You should always use in text citation. That means after the sentence, which has been the idea of another work, you have to make a bracket and then you have to write the name of the author and the year when this particular work has been published. Second thing is in textile should be used in the manuscript only that means it is not related to the references it has to be used in the manuscript only then in textile is a parenthetical system which is always at the same page in bracket as i already said then in in textile it is a harvard style usually consists of the author's last name and the year of publication as i said author's last name or a surname and then the year of the publication then it is usually placed at the end of the quote or paraphrased paragraph if you are using even the quote or if you are using a paraphrase you have to write in the bracket acknowledgement of the sources from where you have taken that particular idea always remember footnote should not be used in a harvard style but here I want to mention that in some of the journal, it has been written that you may use footnote also, but only in the case of citation of the cases. And sometimes if you are, if you want to write anything, any references or any idea, which you do not want to write within the paper, but you want to give the detail of that particular idea. So you may write in the footnotes but you have to read properly the guidelines of every research paper of every journal and the university whether that footnoting is allowed or not because popularly it is not allowed so you have to understand you have to read carefully the in-text system now let's understand this with the help of the examples the first thing is as i said that you have to write author's surname and the year of the publication for example, Kennedy 2015. That means there is an idea, there is a sentence of the work which you have taken from the for uh, the idea from the other research, then you have to write the name. Then if you are quoting more than one writer, that means if there are two writers, you can simply write with the help of the comma that Kennedy, comma, Clinton 2015. That means you are quoting the work of two authors of 2015 work. Then if there are three writers, then also you can write that the name of the three writers by using comma and then the year. But if there is more than three writers, then you must write the name of the first author, not sorry, not the name, but the surname of the first author, then write at all and then write year then 
at all means you do not have to write the name of every author because it is more than three so you may write only the surname of the first author then at all and then 2018 now the meaning of paraphrasing i have already explained you the meaning of paraphrasing but let uh, let's understand it in detail it means basically formulating someone else idea in your own words always remember it is always someone else idea you cannot only change by uh, merely after changing the words you cannot say that it is your idea it might be someone else idea and if you are taking his or her idea then you have to write it paraphrasing basically is a source that you rewrite it may be an idea it may be thought it may be work it may be research it may be book review it may be anything which you are writing of someone else without changing the meaning of the original text that means idea is the of another person you are quoting that idea but you are using your own word thought is of another person that is called paraphrasing as i said that merely changing the language of another author amounts to plagiarism that means if you are not quoting if you are not writing the name of that author from where you have taken the idea then it will be amount as plagiarism mostly i have uh, come up with the complaint of many students and even the faculty member that ma'am uh, i have changed all the words but still uh, there is a plagiarism it is clearly that you have changed the words only but the idea is of another person you cannot say that everything whatever whatever you have written is solely your idea you might have taken some of the idea or research work from any other person so it's good to quote otherwise it will be amount as plagiarism so that's why you have to take care that's why i give a due credit to the original sources authors or wherever sources you have taken that particular idea now let's understand this with the help of some example now this is a first one way of writing uh, paraphrasing if you want to quote writer or idea of any author within the sentence only you may start like this also that checkley 1985 is the year checkley was the first who described psychopath as so and so so you may write like this also here while using the name of the author within the sentence you may only write ear but there is another way this is especially for the law students who are quoting judgments now it may be possible that you are directly quoting any judgment from the supreme court or high court or any other websites where the judgments are um, present but if you are quoting judgment uh, which has been already quoted in another research work it may be book it may be research article it may be dissertation it may be anything else if you are quoting that particular judgment even if you are uh, changing the language of that particular sentence which has been quoted by another person still you have to write the name of that person otherwise it will be amount as plagiarism that as this particular judgment that in the landmark judgment in 2011 so and so and at the end it has been written gupta comma 2015 that means this is the person who have already quoted in his research work about that particular judgment now there may be various way of writing this particular judgment that it can be started by the supreme court rejected mr virani petition or you can also quote like this passive euthanasia for the first time has been so and so now you can change the language that change the form of the language but you have to always remember that this particular case or this particular idea was taken was adopted by any other persons that's why you have to quote the research work of that particular person carefully otherwise again it will be amount as plagiarism now the third thing is like social and legal institution defined law in our society this is one sentence which has been taken by the author which is more than one that means maximum two or three authors so you have to write the name of maximum three authors and then the year but when there is more than three authors again as i stated write only the surname of the first author and then use at all and year 
and if you are quoting exactly the words of that particular author of that particular idea then you have to quote the surname you have to write the surname of that particular author then at all if there are more than three then write down the page number from where you have taken to be more specific that this particular quote has been taken from this particular sentence you have to write like this whenever you are quoting or whenever you are paraphrasing any sentence now the next thing is quoting now quoting is basically it may be a form of a quotation as far as law students is concerned is it it is usually uh, judgments because uh, usually law students or the law uh, fraternity they use they usually take uh, uh, or write the whole of the judgment or part of the judgment which has been given because it is necessary to use that language only so that is called quotation so the quotation means to copy word to word the same material from the original author no matter it is judgment also or any other quotation or any other uh, idea of another author but word to word then it could be a simple sentence or a complex sentence or a long paragraph lengthy quotation depends upon how long you want to write it is not at all necessary to write down a whole paragraph even if it is a judgment take out the important sentence or important words out of that particular judgments or out of that particular quotation and if you write want to write exactly word to word the same that is also quoting some others work but you have to be careful try to use only very precise the only consideration is deciding about the length of the quote and that is it should be the value to your research it should not be very lengthy it should be value to your research that means some emphasis must be taken must be given of that particular idea or of that particular quote that's why you have to understand that whatever quote you are using that should add value to your research and you should not add as i said the lengthy quotation and whenever it is needed then only you write do not use this everywhere then write as long a quote as it meet the requirement of your research as i have already said then it should be written in inverted comma always remember it should be written in inverted comma it may be single inverted comma depends upon the the work it may be a double inverted comma but you have to make an emphasis now to make it more clear i'll give some of the example usually even if you are writing uh, the quote in a uh, inverted comma and you are writing the name in an index style but still people used to make mistake and that mistake is first i'll tell you the incorrect form this is a quote that uh, uh, intentional act or omission and violation of criminal law basically the definition of law and then uh the quotation has been written then there is a full stop then tapan 1960 this has been written now you might be surprised that what is wrong with this because uh, it has been written in the way which i have already said now if you see carefully it is the mistake of punctuation always remember punctuation plays very important role in your research work if i am telling you that you must know where to use inverted commas single inverted comma double inverted comma where to use full stop where to use comma semicolon everything you have to be very clear about that punctuation now the correct form the correct form is the same thing the only difference is you have to look it carefully now the difference is the full stop is not after the quote the full stop is after in text style that means when the writer's name or the surname and year has been written so that makes a difference if you will write the way which has been written in a incorrect way that will be considered as incorrect and uh, every journal which is a reputed journal they will they are not going to allow this type of silly mistake so you have to be very conscious whenever you are writing 
uh, even the uh, quoting any other's work and uh, how to write even in in textile so be careful is related to the reference now reference is basically as i said earlier also that in harvard style you have to give only reference no end notes no footnotes in textile and then later on at the end of your research work you have to give references now end of research work means it it is related to your article and your research paper and as far as uh, this uh, dissertation and thesis is concerned it is in a form of a bibliography that too at the end of your research work whatever is your research work so it should be listed alphabetically this is really very important that it has to be listed alphabetically usually student or the person are not taking care of this simple thing that every references should be written alphabetically because you are writing references you, this is not end note nor end note neither footnote so you have to be careful then titles and subtitles of article books and journal should have main words capitalization this is again very important then titles of the book and journal will be printed in italics and should be therefore underlined so the title of the book and journal should be printed in italics so you have to be careful about that now how to write the reference of books and articles in the harvard system now let's talk about books if you have to write uh, the uh, the citation or the reference of the book at the end of that means in the references you have to first write last name then first initial then year in the bracket year of publication then titles in italics then edition but only include the edition if it is not the first edition then city where it is published then publisher and pages page or pages if that particular quote has been taken from that particular book so you have to write that also now let's understand with the help of the example this is the surname of uh, the writer then initial then year then the name of the book in italics then the year then the place and and the uh, publisher this has been written i have not given the example of the pages you may write pages as well here then if you are quoting journals or article then again last name then first initial year of publication article title journal volume issue and then pages as this has been written so you have to be very careful whenever you are writing this i am going to give you the detail of uh, in the description box only the notes in description box only so that you can refer that also now website and newspaper now if you have to quote the website then again the work the work of the person if you are uh, if you know the work of uh, the person which is published online then write the last name then first initial year of publication page title and you must write in the bracket online because this particular research article or dissertation or blog anything whatever thing you are quoting that is online so after writing all the details it is necessary you have to write online then the name of the website and then you must write available at and available at then url of that particular website and also in the bracket accessed accessed on the day month and year why it is necessary that you must write the accessed day month and year because it may happen that at that particular time when you have quoted this work that particular website or that article was online but maybe presently it is not online so it may amount as plagiarism or anything else that this particular uh, website or the work which you have mentioned is not true so you have to mention the excess day month and year then 
this is an example how to write this particular work then newspaper if you are quoting any newspaper again last name first initial year of publish article or a title whatever it is then newspaper then pages like this you have to write it now this is especially for the law student because we used to write cases so if you are using us cases now again first party versus second party reporter volume number reporter abbreviation first page of case specific page references and year like this then if you are using or writing indian cases then case name year of reporter volume number reporter abbreviation first page year of decision if different from year of reporter because in india if not evident from context then this is the example now reporter that departs from this format shall be returned in their own format like jabalpur versus shukla air 1976 sc you may also write like this now apart from citation style there are some basic things which you must remember when you are writing a uh, research paper especially you must use times new roman font and you must use one line spacing and it must be the content must be justified this is a very silly mistake which usually students do that please justify your work then you must use uh, the font size the main content must be 12 and footnote must be 10 if you are writing footnote if you are not writing footnote then you have to stick on uh, the font size 12 then the another thing is always add full stop after every footnote or after any every references or after any in text style you have to place a full stop after every work or citation you are using then months should be written in abbreviation forms jan feb march ep and so on then another thing is whatever whichever foreign words you are using that should be written in italics always remember that writing anything on italics doesn't looks good it is always a foreign words or for law student it, these are maxims which must be written in italics you should not write in italics just to make an emphasis do not make do write in italics if you want to emphasize anything you may change the paragraph but uh, if you are writing in italics that means it is considered as a foreign word so you must remember these things also so that's all about the harvard referencing style i hope you like the video and if you like it do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel and uh, you may also find the notes uh, in uh, the description box also and uh, for detail notes and for all other law notes you may visit to our website that is lawcollegio.com you may also follow us on the various social media platforms that is linkedin instagram facebook twitter by the name of law colleague i hope you like the video thank you for watching see you soon bye bye